So, two steps to the right. Keep talking to him. Three steps forward. Keep talking to him. Now, you help. how many times have you told him to go down with your on his side? In other words, you always are doing your commands from in front of him. So, he might be confused. So, help him out. Tell him down. Just tell him down. Now, give the hand signal also. So, you see how he's confused? So, say no down. There we go. He's allowed to turn. No, he's allowed to turn. We'll talk about that in a second. So because you've never done commands from anything in front of him, you've literally created a situation where he always thinks you have to beware. And I know when I teach you this, it's like, oh my God, I've never thought about it, Chaz. We've been coming to you for three months, but I've always done everything from directly in front of him. So did you, you see, he wasn't trying to take off or anything. He just did that look of confusion on his face like, but you're not in front of me. Now, see if you can walk all the way around him, circumnavigate him. Keep talking to him. Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. He's confused right now. He's like, you don't do this stuff to me. He's like, he's like, I mean, how many times have you made him stay and you've walked around him like that and made him stay the whole time? Do you do that very often? No, exactly. So it's not, he's just very, un, he's like, but this isn't what we do. Dogs are creatures of patterns. And if you always do it the exact same way, he will get very good at that way. But he won't be good at other ways. Now tell him to uh, tell him to stay and then walk to the corner over there. That one, yes. So once again, you're not in front of him. Have him come to you and sit. Tempt him. A lot of temptation. Now, there we go. Perfect. Sit. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. 